If the loading arm becomes disconnected, we're spraying 200 PSI of ammonia out of a two inch pipe. It would be a very bad thing. This is one of those corrective actions that we implemented in order to prevent future fatalities or even serious injuries from ammonia exposure. Milliseconds count, especially when you have as many neighbors we got sitting on our property line. We don't do anything unless it's safe. We have 24 CF terminals. A few years back, a loading arm became disconnected at our Pine Bend terminal, and we had two fatalities from that. Since that time, we've been implementing a lot of safety features into our loading process, and probably the most important one, the automatic shutdown capabilities. So Randy came up with the initial concept of the Atlas system and sourced all the components and proved the system out. He installed the first system here at the Blair facility. What we're worried about in a loading incident is the arm coming completely off or the truck pulling away with the arm. And so if we had a system that could verify that the truck loading arm was connected, it would automatically shut down. It became disconnected. We've been looking at pull away and breakaway systems for years, and they usually involve mechanical couplings here, we're just making a simple circuit. So the Atlas system is a continuity loop that the drivers hook up when they first make their loading arm connections. During loading, low voltage electrical current passes through the loading arm, through the clamp, and back to the relays. While that particular truck is connected, the driver is in the shack. Then the driver makes sure my white light's on. If it's on, I've got the system going, hit my green button, and I can start loading. So one or the other comes disconnected. It shuts the, the automatic valve instantaneously. If the loop's broken, then it triggers a relay to release the air from the emergency shutdown valve and stops the flow of ammonia through the process. A lot of drivers, they use a ground clamp for propane, so they're used to hooking a ground clamp up, so we just tell them this is basically the same their ground clamp except we're completing a circuit for their safety. It's not cumbersome for the driver to implement. It takes a second for him to do it. The truck drivers know that any sort of a loading arm failure would be devastating to anybody that's within the area loading at the time so they appreciate all the extra safety features that we've been installing and especially the Atlas system. After studying that Pine Bend incident we determined that it took roughly four seconds for the operators to respond which is fairly quick reaction time considering the circumstances. There's a significant volume of ammonia, especially during a pressurized transfer process like the truck loading that can pass through that loading arm in just four seconds. We're always concerned with what goes on and that's why we have cameras positioned so they can see. They can also see that the clamp is hooked up. The operator may be doing something else. He may be checking in another truck. He may be uh, working on the bill of lading, so stuff he's not right there at the button. This just removes the reaction time for an operator to hit an emergency shutdown. When you have as many trucks coming in and out, of it, it's uh, just reassuring that we have another safety device to uh, prevent any kind of release or accident that we're not expecting. We're really proud of, of the implementation of this Atlas system and every CF facility ships product. We think this is an idea that should be implemented across the board. Everyone that loads ammonia can use this. It was designed first for loading arm. It could be used with hoses if the hoses are conductive or if you install an external conductor along the hose. So with 24 distribution facilities, yeah, it can go to all them. It's a good thing. It's something that we feel a lot better than the old system that we had. There have been a lot of people involved in this project, between the engineers, the EHS personnel for helping to figure out a solution, especially the INE tech personnel. As soon as everybody heard that Randy wanted to use this, we, we were all on board right away. I'm proud to have been part of this. I'm glad they saw value in this idea. Keeping these guys safer at these facilities is very important. I will have a problem with anybody getting hurt. Everybody that works for me is my family, so if they get hurt, I get hurt. We take safety very, very serious. At CF. At CF. We do it right. At DF, we do it right.